Happy Wednesday, Gladiators! My name is John Christofferson, and this is your KWHS News. The topic of suicide is a hard topic to discuss because it is such a personal subject, but we've had so many suicides in the last few months that our district has partnered with Aspen Point to host a suicide prevention clinic tonight at the Mesa Ridge Auditorium. It will be from 6 to 8 p.m. with licensed clinicians who will present tips and coping strategies, discuss warning signs, and provide additional resources. Please join us in this very important presentation and bring your family, friends, and neighbors. As a community, we're trying to help stop teen suicides. If you need more info, please call this number. There will be a Southern Colorado College Fair next Monday, the 26th, at the Mortgage Solutions Financial Expo Center from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Students register online at the website. Attention juniors and seniors, college reps have started visits with us. Today brings UCCS, while Metro State will be here on Thursday, and Colorado College will visit us on September 27th. George Mason University closes out the month with a visit on September 28th. October visits start off with Grand Canyon University on October 6th, then Western State University on October 11th, and Fort Hayes State University on October 12th. In November, UNC Greeley will stop by on the 1st, DU will be here on the 8th, and Lamar Community College will stop by on November 10th. And CSU Fort Collins will end the month with a visit on November 17th. Remember to get a pass from the Counseling Center to attend any of these sessions. Also seniors, be sure to check out the link on the WHS Counseling Center for scholarship ideas. The list is updated regularly. See the Counseling Center for more information. One last deadline to keep in mind is for the FAFSA application. March 31st is the deadline to submit your FAFSA for the 2016-2017 school year. This application is required for grants, scholarships, and other forms of financial aid. Please check with the financial aid office at the school you plan to attend for accurate deadlines. Access FAFSA through this website and beware of scams. You should never have to pay to complete the FAFSA. And now here's a very important message from Miss Betsy. Hi, this is Miss Betsy here. Just a quick reminder that the blue forms that you were given to fill out for your uh, the lunch program need to be returned prior to the 28th of September. Please come to the cafeteria, ask questions, check your accounts. We need to get these forms back in. Thanks, and have a great day. Thanks, Ms. Betsy. What's for lunch? Good morning! It's Wednesday. Yay! We're having super nachos for lunch. Come and join us. Have a great day. Hey, seniors. Herf Jones will be in the Lower Commons during lunch tomorrow to help place cap, gown, and graduation announcement orders. Place your orders before winter break because prices will go up. Announcements with the WHS logo are more limited in January. Go to this link after Thursday to place orders. If you have any questions, contact Herf Jones directly at this number. Senior photos and baby ads are due on October 21st. See Mrs. Kennedy for details. Environmental Club meets every Wednesday, including today. If you want to join, see Mr. Cummings for more information. Now here's Elijah and Dylan with your sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Elijah Clark. And I'm Dylan Hamm. And this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Open Gym for Basketball has started in Bowers Gym. If you are a fall athlete, you must have permission from your coach to participate. Contact Mr. Munoz for more information. Volleyball plays tomorrow at Fountain Fort Carson. Tennis has a tournament also at Fountain Fort Carson tomorrow. Varsity soccer played the Coronado Cougars yesterday, but the Cougars went home with the victory. Varsity soccer plays at Elizabeth. I'm Dylan Hamm. And I'm Elijah Clark. Have an excellent Wednesday. Back to you, John. Thanks, guys. Glads, homecoming is this Saturday, the 24th from 7 to 11. The theme is Grecian Gardens. There will be a photo booth for $5, and tickets are $10 in the business office. If you don't buy a ticket, then you won't know who your homecoming king and queen are until later. Your homecoming court includes the following students. Your nominees for queen are Kylie Almeida, Jada Aquino, Samantha Howell, Kaylee Mitchell, and Carmen Thomas. Your nominees for king are AJ Anderson, Emmerich Gorgon, Maximiliano Martinez, Nate Miller, and Travis Rader. Voting for Homecoming Court is today and tomorrow in the small gym. It is sure to be a great time. Ladies, you only have until Friday to get your homecoming dress. See Ms. Molina in room 111 or Ms. HK in the library to make a dress appointment for Becca's closet. Remember that the dress is yours to keep. Spirit Week is nearly over. If you haven't participated, there is still a chance. 
Tomorrow is Throwback Thursday, and Friday is Olympic Ring Day, where freshmen wear green, sophomores wear red, juniors wear yellow, seniors wear blue, and staff wears black. All teachers and students, if you have a relative who graduated from Lyonfield and is currently on active duty in the military, please bring a photo of them, including their rank and the year they graduated to the NJROTC Room 125. Juniors, if you are interested in taking the PSAT test on Saturday, October 15th, you need to sign up in the Counseling Center by noon, October 13th. The cost is $15 and is due at sign up. Space is limited. Remember that the PSAT test is not mandatory, but a PSAT your junior year is required if you have intentions of trying for the very difficult merit scholarship. The test will be from 8 a.m. to noon. And finally, Cyber Patriot Club will be having the first meeting tomorrow in Mr. Nell's room. Have a great Wednesday, Glads. I'm John Christofferson, and this was your KWHS News.